very happy and uh, so sweet to see all of you uh, for having come to the national level. It's not at all an easy thing. Uh, several hundred thousand people join year on year in Spagri International's language development program. But every year, hardly less than uh, 10 to 20,000 students come to international level. A bit more than that comes to national level. So maybe I could say like, uh, you have come to a stage of, if there are 100 people are there, you have come to a stage of in the top one, uh, in the top 25 people. Okay, is it not a big thing? So out of 100, you have come, is it, you know how it is because generally I do not uh, like uh, uh, our team itself, I would say, we do not like ranking people and telling uh, they are only uh, the first uh, grade people, first to stand, you know, first prime uh, uh, position holder. We used to feel very uh, bad word in, oh, how to grade them because they have lost it only with 0.25 uh, marks. But then I see year on year, people who are coming to the topmost positions are those people who are sustainably traveling in something. It is not just because of their uh, knowledge. It is not because of their uh, uh, competency skills. It's not just only because of that. But most of the time, anyway, it is a great support of uh, teachers. It is because of great support of your parents, mom, dad. Many people must be supporting you. You are also an enthusiastic learner. But other than that, I see sustainability. Continuously interested in coming from one level to another. Willing to know the words and then to know about the meanings of the words and application of it. Okay, now that I know the spellings of 1000 words, how about meanings of the first 300 words? And how about the next 300 words? Oh, I would like to see the final 400 words also. I would like to keep it as a collectible, the dictionary of all the 1000 words. Like that, children are very much interested in pursuing the knowledge. Shall we give a good round of applause to all those kids who had that interest, who are having that interest and sincerity, okay? Shall we go for all of you, for all of you? It's not only for you, you're clapping. You're clapping for the rest of the people who are there now in the screens. Shall we see the screen and see all of them? Okay, so let's see. Clap, 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 clap for all the people have done that and they have come to a national level. It's not at all an easy thing. So thank you very much for the effort. If your parents are here nearby, my appreciations to them also. And this uh, camp, boot camp, can be attended by your parents. All right. So it's not only kids uh, are supposed to be there. So do not worry about bringing them in the screen. So I don't mind your mom sitting near you your father sitting near you or your grandparents or anyone who is coaching you, okay? Siblings, sister, brothers, anyone can sit along with you. So do not worry about, uh, I don't want like, uh, okay, don't move, 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 session is happening. Don't come near me, go behind me and all, no need, all right? So keep them near you. So that's a wonderful thing. I'll be more than happy to have them here because I know very well we know very well for grade one, it's not that very easy for you to study everything on your own. But then also I see more than 25 percentage of you doing that. So parents are going to help you. Let them be in the screen. Doesn't matter. So thank you very much. So now we are going to an important, uh, no, uh, no crossing in just two days. How many days? In just three days, we are going to have a new year. How many of you love that feeling? Hey, new year is coming. Can you just go to the chat box and say, I, 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 hey, I'm going to enjoy New Year's coming, New Year's coming, New Year's coming. So also type one word. Okay, great. So many, I, 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 I also type one word. What do you mean by New Year for you? What is New Year for you? Just type one word. 
what is new year for me for some of them new year is i have balance crackers i'm going to crack the rest of them so new year means crackers for some of them new year means okay lot of guests at home i'm going to meet my grandparents and things like that oh for many of you new year means party for many of you happiness fun great i'm so happy to see you are having a great time joy okay you are at your hometown great so new year means okay christmas holidays and you are in the new year and you are in your grandparents house village super has the session started yes session has started are you not able to hear anything okay so you need to adjust your audio check your network check check your audio also beautiful okay so that's the thing so we are getting into new year so we need to fix some interesting goals also isn't it some goals we need to set yes shall we set some goals for the new year by 6:15 uh arul ma'am will be starting the session arul ma'am and kani ma'am are going to start the session on your uh, session based on your books all right so now we are going to speak a bit on new year goals what are we going to do shall we so okay can you just type um will you type i don't know how fast you will type yeah your answers are very pretty fast but i don't whether you are only really typing or your parents are typing can you just uh, uh, think and then type um one two or three goals possible three goals of this new year people say ah uh, resolutions in new year we take all the things after that we forget it it's not like that i will teach you a method of how to do it how to take continuously i also do not know that but the past three years three new years i'm taking some decisions and i'm adapting i am taking it continuously throughout the year i am able to do it okay early wake up and then yeah type type even one also you can type keep typing one two three like that wins penalty prize okay all right study a yeah, study is always there okay when you are setting a goal i'll teach you one small technique very very easy technique you need to set the goal in a very smart way so what is smart smart is specific like this is what the goal it is not studying i want to get 80% or 90% or math only i am little less marks i am getting in math i want to improve like this it can be anything or in study it can be like my speed reading should be good the, the moment someone gives a book i should be able to browse and then at the uh, like the maximum speed possible i should be able to comprehend things so like that have a goal on a specific thing not studying is studying studying you can keep studying anything keep on you can have the book isn't it so specific thing and then you should be able to measure and then it should be achievable specific measurable uh, achievable and then uh, relevant and time based and you also should mention that if one of you wants to want to like something like uh, i want to learn bicycle riding you should mention by okay march month i should start riding bicycle on my own something like that okay so that is one tip also you know how to write it uh suppose if one of you want to learn an exercise or yoga you need to connect it with okay morning once i get up i'm going to do that or before breakfast for sure i'll do that or before going to bed for sure i'll finish my homework or before going to homework i'll every day start di writing my uh, diary it can be anything but before eating food before going to sleep after getting up before to play like that you can always connect things so those are interesting ways to develop the habit so for sure you will do right so i have fixed like that for my walking i fix like that my you no know, exercise strength training so before food so morning breakfast i will not take without that training without that i will not do so i do not take otherwise skip the breakfast no need to eat the breakfast 
Like that, we can have some goals. I'm going to do meditation, something like that. Anything you can be connected. Okay, thank you. Let's move on to another topic now. So we are talking about you, right? Another year is coming. 2024 is coming. Interesting thing, no? That is another year which is coming. 2024. Yay! Very colorfully it is coming, right? And in the next five minutes, I'm going to introduce you one concept which we are already telling for the past two months of time to your parents and to you all. As you're nearing international level, in international level, there is a special portion for you to improve your fluency. How many of you can give a speech very well? I can go to take the mic and then I can give the speech very well. How many of you? Raise your hands. Let me see in the screen. How many of you? How many of you? How many of you? Wow, super. How many of you, if I give a topic and write at least 10 lines? Mm, some topic, 10 lines. Okay, so some of you can do some. How many of you can do beautiful artwork? Can you raise your hand? Beautiful artworks. Ah, beautiful. So like that, uh, we are giving some 10 to 15 activities for you all to improve your communication skills. And if you are doing participating in those activities, it is just complimentary uh, participation along with the uh, Spelby International uh, registrations, you will be, these things comes complimentary. Even now you can participate with the national registration also. So what, who is coming along with us in this? As I've told you already, this is the organization behind it. We have collaborated with HS for a, how many of you know Albert Einstein? You've heard about him, raise your hands. Albert Einstein. Okay, not many of you. All right, so as you grow and you learn science, so you will be learning about Albert Einstein also. The picture I will show you in the next program. Okay, so he, so like theory of relativity, for many things he has uh, done is one of the very important scientists of our age, I should say. And uh, <coughs> HS4A is an international organization. How many of you heard of United Nations? United Nations, the name United Nations. Okay, so you are too young. Listen to your parents and hear from them. What do you mean by United Nations? Tonight you can have a talk with them. What do you mean by United Nations? What they are all doing, these United Nations people? So the certificate is going to come from, okay, whoever is participating. With this logo, like this, the certificate will come. With that, the underneath other uh, the content will be there. HS4A. Uh, United Nations Trust Fund Human Security, World Academy of World Academy of Arts and Science only started by Albert Einstein. And recently they have done there was a movie, you know, Open Hammer. So that person and few other very eminent people started. Okay. So with them, we are collaborating for alleviating poverty and taking measures and awareness on global uh, warming and uh, environmental problems. Uh, poverty, so many things. Actually, we are doing it in very big level also. We are having meetings with Nobel laureates. We are having meetings with uh, international parliament associations. Like that, that is another set of activities. But I was insisting on, okay, you're talking to big people, but who are going to rule the nation? Only very, very young people, whoever is today, tomorrow they are going to be decision makers. They are going to be in parliament. They are going to be IAS officers. They are going to be engineers building get big constructions. So unless until they are aware of what is the problem in environment, unless until they are aware of what is the problem around them, what unless until they are aware of how to take the food what is given in the plate very happily with a deli. Uh, I don't want greens. I don't want this vegetable. If they know the value of it, then they'll be very happy. They will start growing plants also. All right. So because of that, we brought this program. When I asked for this program to our children, they told, huh, what great one kids will do on this? Like that. But I am not able to take it. I told them, what do you think? They think very well. They are the future people. And if they, they know how to take a 
right decision on this how to live a life based on that like for example if you are switching or if you are uh, no the lights are on you should know to switch off no at the right time if the water tap is on and then if you keep on brushing like uh, 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 and then 5 liters of water runs out uh water goes off right you do not worry but then i see people in rajasthan in many other uh, no like uh, country uh, countries also in raj in, in our country rajasthan and then many other countries people walk for kilometers to get good water kilometers they walk even in villages in tamil nadu i see around dharmapuri around you know, near the sea belts kilometers they walk to bring water okay but then we like waste water or some people in the decision makers uh, place they right all the rain water goes to sea it gets salinated then they keep a desalination plant but those people when you are becoming an engineer when you are becoming a social activist when you are becoming an ias officer when you are becoming a scientist you will find solutions to protect all those things how to protect birds how to protect animals how to protect human beings human beings are suffering isn't it suddenly they are saying we have a problem heart problem this problem that problem eye problem earlier i never used to see children wearing specs at all 30 40 years back very rare but now it's becoming out of 10 around 3 to 4 of them are wearing specs because they are spoiling their eyesight so like that protection is about everything human security how many of you are interested to participate in something like that to learn about it to participate to write to speak to draw to write uh, that's it just type me 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 with that i am going to post a form bala please post the form so we are giving you a form now okay last two months we have spoken we are giving you a form now that form if you fill it up and then mention i am interested in the art <coughs> work and i am so there is a form here no click the form and keep it in your laptop in next within <coughs> next to two to three working days you need to send it us if you are sending it today itself it's nice like you can have you can choose multiple options also i am interested in arts i am interested in the speech competition i am interested in mood a mood court the parliament so many things are there some of them for a higher level kids but then we'll be interested to bring at least one or two of you if you are very good we don't mind you participating along with uh, even high school students right i love that i've seen students speaking very well than high school students even a grade one students they used to think very well they used to speak very well so i know what kind of great moms you are having you know parents you are having so i'm looking forward for your great participation so whoever is interested we will also calling we will also be calling you separately to give up give some uh, training on how to write a caption how to do a digital presentation uh, how to do a public speaking how to participate in a mock parliament or in whatever activity we are going to introduce you on that time time to time we will be giving you pep talks on how to do that is it not interesting so you can do an international public speaking national public speaking international public speaking and if you are very good it's going to come in united nations trust fund organization site hs4 site that's an international site and also in spelby international site and then your parents can post in your site or your uh, social media also all right so with this i am uh, please click did you all click it yes can you just type yes 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 understood and then click the form just click the form and keep it after that if you want to submit or not that's okay and most of this activity these activities will come through your school only so do not worry so some will be sending you uh, no like uh, personally to you as a spelby students your school is also aware of it some of the things we'll be giving it for the school also for the whole school to participate advantage for spelby students we'll be giving you extra training for this advantage for you when you are good in fluency your international certificate and the course completion certificate will be very flashy okay all the best thank you very much over to arun ma'am let's see what is there in your national book So let's see that three hundred more words and what is yes, ma'am. Welcome. All right. Very good evening, students, and thank you so much, Tiki, ma'am. We have started the boot camp for the national level, and uh, let me see the faces of the students who are here. So you are the national level contestants, and those of you who are having 
very serious faces with your books. No, please, you scare me. Don't be like that. Yeah, you're not going to have a very serious session. It's going to be a very happy, fun-filled session. And uh, during my session, the next 45 minutes to one hour, I'm going to just keep you on your toes. Is that okay? You can't just keep sitting all the time, okay? If uh, I say you've got to go take something, if I say you've got to enact something, you'll be doing it, right? Yes, thank you. And yes, you can respond in your video with your thumbs up or you can also respond in the chat like you're doing right now. Yes. So only if you do that, the session will be very interesting. Otherwise, it'll be like a lecture session. Do you like a lecture session? No, that's a very boring way to learn, no? So let's do a lot of role plays and all that. That will be fun, okay? So now let's begin with a very uh, short overview, meaning we're going to look and see what only is there in this level. Now that you are in the national level, you've got to know what to expect in this level and how you should prepare for this level, no? So let's first go see that. I hope this is visible to you. So I have shared my table with you. Yes. And that shared, mm -hmm. thank you, ma'am. That share right there is for you, right? You're going to sit here along with me and we're going to see the contents of your book. And I'm going to do two rounds. After me, Kani ma'am will come and she will be doing two more rounds, right? And with that, we'll end the good camp. And uh, be prepared to stay here till like eight o'clock and we'll give you mini breaks in between and eye exercises also. So be prepared to be here with us okay so now first let's go and see this book so this is your national level book some of you might have a different wrapper but don't worry the content will be the same so this is what you can see here these rounds can you see the rounds yeah can you see the rounds crossword word weaving compound words and kinds and types of words but i said i will be doing two rounds and kanima will be doing two rounds right so how does that happen then? What two rounds am I going to do? What two rounds Kanimam is going to do? I'm going to do crossword and there is one round which you have been having from the state level that is going to continue till the international level. But you're only learning like uh, phase by phase, like set by set. 300 words meanings. You learned in the state level. You remember that? Yes, from A to F. Yes. In this national level, you're going to learn another 300 words meanings. Clear? So I'm going to do that. So starting from, I think, G till O, we will be learning the meanings. So I will start with that and then I'll do crossword. Okay? Yes. Can I? Okay, darlings. Thank you so much. Let's begin with words and meanings. So this is the wrapper. This is your words and meanings. And this is your median page for this round. Can you see here? In the state level, you had from A to F. For the national level, you will not have from G to O. You will have from A to O. Remember that, okay? So this is cumulative learning. Like you're learning not thousand words altogether. 300 you finished, now 300 more. So totally 600 words. Now let's go see these new set of words that you have. So these are your book pages. We are going to do your book pages only. So if you do not have your book right now, it's okay. I'm going to share it here anyway. But if you do have the book, please open to the right page. Am I clear? Can we start in three? Two, one. We are going to do page by page, okay? Let's start. This is your first page. And I told you in my session, you're just not going to sit here. You might be required to stand up. You might be required to go run and take something. All of this is going to happen. And for every page, it is going to be different, okay? Are you all very attentive? Are you listening to me? Because I'm going to give the instructions now. If you miss this, you will not know what to do the next, the rest of the session. Okay, so be very alert and listen the next one minute. Okay, uh, I do not ask them to keep the book with them. Can you ask them to bring the book, please? 
uh, some of the things have learned that's why you want me to, to ask them to bring their books yeah 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 because in the screen uh, some portion of it is blur are you able to see the screen is this readable to you okay but if you do have the book it will be a great idea to also take your book and open to the correct page i just told them that ma'am so i'll give you some time yeah let's do a quick countdown if your parent can help that would be great or if you can go and run and take your book please do that okay uh, i'll send so keep the chat on chat is also not on who is operating the chats let's allow them to chat sir yes beautiful if you have not got your book do not worry because i am anyway sharing the book pages here but if you do have please take it okay thank you now you will be i'll tell you what you should be doing okay for every page you will either get a hand pointer like this if you get the hand pointer you should tell me the words for these pictures we are going to guess the words based on the pictures but if you see somebody running then you have to go run and take any object that is here in the list so it can be a gift it can be a gingerbread it can be i don't know what else a game anything that's there in the list so if you see somebody running i want you to run okay next if you see a question mark like this then i will show you a picture and you are going to find out what is that and the word uh, will be here from this list i will have taken one words picture and you are going to guess the word and for all of this you can type in the chat and if you see an emoji like this then you are going to do a role play like you are going to enact that verb and show to me okay four things if you see this pointer you are going to write the words we are going to guess the words for these pictures at the bottom of the page if you see a running image you are going to take something from your house which uh, one of this anything from the list and if you see a question mark you are going to find out the picture from the picture that i show you if you see the emoji you are going to win your face i want to see the expressions am i clear is the instructions clear yes can we start so this is an example page we are going to go to the next page i hope in this page everything is uh, easy not that difficult gain gala what is a gala a festival okay game gang garden gates drum giant a gift gingerbread okay so these are the words here so a ginger flavored cake have you ever tried a ginger flavored cake anybody have you had a gingerbread anyone this christmas did anybody try okay some of you have okay great now let's begin the game so what is going to come here we have in this page giraffe give glad glass globe glove glow go goal goal and goldfish okay is there any word here that is difficult for you i think every word is easy here you know what everything means we don't have any tough word here no so let us see what you're supposed to do now oh you have to run and find something what are you going to bring let's see does anybody have a goldfish does anybody have a globe okay let me see i think you can even get gold if your mom is wearing gold she can help you okay let's see glass varuni has got a glass that's great nathan has also got a glass okay glass seems to be the popular very nice good job okay fish who has got a fish oh globe rehansh has a globe that's nice samarth also has got a globe many of you have gone for a glass okay okay some of you are holding what is called a tumbler right a glass 
It's uh, made of glass, right? So let's see the meaning of glass. A hard, clear material used to make windows, bottles, etc. A small drinking container with a flat base and usually no handle. Okay, so the material does not matter, is it? Okay, then your steel tumbler is also a glass. It can also carry that same meaning. Not bad. Okay, beautiful. And it should not have any handle. If it has a handle, then it's it's called a mug or a cup. Good job, everyone. Okay, are you ready for the next page? Oh, Ahna has got an oven glove. I just saw that. Beautiful. I think you were the only one who got a glove. Okay, anybody else? Anything else? Those of you who are just... Advait has a gold bangle. Okay. Nice. Yuan, I think you're showing a gold ring. Nice. Okay, we have some rich people here too. Very nice. Oh, Jafia is wearing a glove. Nice. I'm not able to see everybody. So those of you who have went and took the trouble to bring the things here, good job. Okay, let's continue to interact that way. Let's not take a lot of time because we have many pages to go. So let's go to the next page. Okay, in this page, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to guess the words. We're going to uh, write the words here. Before that, let's first look at the words. What words do we have? Good meaning having a high quality or standard. Grab is to catch. Grace is being a polite and charming way of behaving or a divine blessing, right? So God's grace, we say that, no? Grade, it can be a rank or a level of quality. First grade, honey, they say that, no? So it means it's of good quality. And a grand is an informal word for grandmother. Why not grandfather? Why only grandmother? Mm-hmm. So gran and granny is only for grandmother, is it? Okay. Grand means great. Ground can have two meanings. It can mean the top out of the earth where people walk. It can also mean the past tense of grind. What is grinding? Crushing something, right? And group. A group of people or a group of animals or a group of things. Something that's taken together and not single units. Okay, that's a group. Grow, you know that. You're doing that every day, right? You're growing each and every single day. So to become big. And what is a God? Who is a God? Someone who protects a place, a person, or a thing from danger or any attack. What is the meaning of guess? To form or give an unsure answer or opinion. So you're not very certain that that's the answer, but you're trying to give some answer. So that is guess, right? Now you have seen the words. Now you're going to give the captions here. What is the answer? Type in the chat. What is the answer for the first picture? Who is that? Very good. That's not grab. She's not grabbing. She's just hugging. No? So she's a grandma. But the word we have here is grand. Very good. So G-R-A-N is the right answer. And what is the word for the second one? I think we have two pictures and, and both these pictures are for the same words. Very good. Not grand. This is ground. Yeah, they grind coffee beans to make coffee powder, right? So the past tense of grind is ground. Ground coffee beans. So this is the word. Those of you who have guessed it right, very good. And what is this for the, both these pictures? You can see that it's in the same box, right? So what is the answer for this one? Good job. It is grow. Good. Now, the last picture. Who is that? That's a guard. Very good. A security guard. Beautiful. Good answers, everyone. If you're having uh, some, if you're taking some time to type, it's okay. Because you're just in grade one, if you can take some time to type. It doesn't mean if you're answering slowly that you have guessed it slowly. I can understand that you are very clear and bright. You're just taking time to type. It's okay. Not a problem. Good job, everyone. Now let's go and see the next page. Okay. Let's see what you're supposed to do now. Are you ready? Oh, you're going to run a gum, gun. I hope you don't carry a gun. Maybe a toy gun, yes. Half, half of some, anything. Hanky. You can find any of this stuff. 
Okay, Varuni already has a gun. Wow. Get up, get up, Nithara, get up, go, get up, bring something back. Rehansh has a gun. Subhash, what a great gun you have. It looks scary. Swaranj, you have a hanky. That's beautiful. Many of you have guns, and I am wary scat. Holy guns, guns to burst crackers. I hope nobody has a real gun. Yes, good job. Oh, Mahi has two things. Good. I think you, many of you have gum also. Nice, very good. Very, very nice. Good job, everyone. Very nice, good. Nivisha, Nivishka, I can see that you have two very beautiful, clean handkerchiefs. Good. Nivishka, yes, okay. Good, good, good. I'm seeing everybody. I'm just not able to call out everybody's names. Good job, everyone. Gum and also hanky. Many of you have got gum and hanky. So that's the most popular thing I think you're having. Beautiful. I think all the words here are not very difficult. Maybe heap. Heap means a collection of things put on top of each other. Um, any other th difficult word? Heal is to get better after the sickness or injury. Yeah, very simple. No, these words are good job, everyone. What about this page? Oh, you're supposed to guess every picture here. Here, you know, is the lesson. Heart, you know, that's the organ that pumps your blood to all the parts of your body. And also it has another meaning. See, the central or the most important part of something. What is the meaning of heat? To make something hot or warm. Heavy, something that is very difficult to move or to lift. Height, the length of something from the ground. Hello is a way of greeting somebody. Help is to assist. Hen, we think it's only one, right? But hen can be the female chicken of any kind of bird. So we have peacock and peahen also, right? So it's not just chicken. Here, at this place, hereafter, from now on, hero. It's not hero, hero. The main male character, the main male character of a story or a book. Heroine is the main female character. Herself means the name, the same woman or the same girl. Right. So now let's find out what these are. You know this organ? That's your brain, no? No, that's not your brain. Of course, that's not your brain. You know that that's your house. And this, what is the second picture? What can it be? You're way ahead. Answer to the current questions, dear. This is heavy. Correct. Beautiful. Don't go ahead of me. And the next one is... Very good. The next one is height. No, she is not a hen. That is height. I said, don't go way ahead. Wait, let's all go together. So this is height. Very good. And the next one is a hen. Very good. And the last one is the Superman. Correct? What is the word we want? Is it Superman? No, very good. That's hero. Very good. Not superhero. We are only looking for words that we have in this page. And the word is hero. Very good. Now the next page. So we have high, hide, high, hill, himself, hold, home, hold, home, homework, hoof, hoof. It's not hoof. Hoof. Hoof is the hard part of the foot of animals like what a horse or a donkey will have, cows, ox, they all have hoops, right? And what's a hook? You don't say hook. See, it's double dot is here. It's hoof, but hook. This is a short sound. A hook is a curved device used to hold to or to hang things. Now, we need to know what you're supposed to do here, right? Oh, you're going to show this in your face. You've got to hide. Let me not see you. Hide yourself. 
don't appear i want you to hide yourself anpush hides don't wave to me hide from me please hide yes that's what you're supposed to do hide i should not be able to see you good next time when an emoji appears i am not going to tell you what word it is you are going to find out okay so this is height next one in this page you have hope hon hon has actually interesting meanings it can be the heart pointy things that grow out of some animals heads like the cow goat rhinoceros they all have horns but it can also be the instrument that is used to sound a warning or give some other signal that is also horn no hose hose many people call this pipe this is not pipe this is a hose a hose is used to um, water your plants right it's a flexible pipe that is used to carry liquid or gas don't call this a pipe and hospital i think that's a very easy word for tell hour it's not hour see h is silent look at the phonetic symbol it's our house huge hump so who has a hump see this camel here so that is a hump no a large raised part on the back of an animal like you have it in uh, on camel a bison see even this uh, first picture here you can see the horn but this animal also has a hump right this ox has a hump hurry means to speed up hurt is to cause pain or injury but we have to know what we are going to do here we are going to guess are you ready now i'm going to show you a picture and you're going to tell me what word it is in the chat please type the word the image is going to appear now what word can this be where do you check in do you check in the hospital do you check in the hump no hi no hotel is the correct word very good you check in the hotel beautiful they have a check in time they have a check out time so when you leave the hotel they call that check out right so when you leave the hospital what is that called do you check out of the hospital no so when you are okay very good swarag the word is discharge very good so we have different words for different places no good now let's see this page so you have ice cream i see idea idol and idol what they both have the same sound yeah sitting simply and also a statue of god or a person who is highly admired so both these words have the same sounds idol right idol like igloo is where uh, who lives the inuits uh, they prefer the word inuits as opposed to eskimos they live in the very cold places where they make houses out of ice that is called igloo image in indoor infant is a baby infect is to get affected by something it can be a virus or a bacteria yeah so that is infects indoor games indoor plants see all of these that are happening inside a building that is indoors what is this word this can be difficult idyllic means being very happy or being very peaceful that's idyllic so what are you going to do for this page okay you're going to run then you've got to bring back something for me get me an ice cream if you please if you have ice cream or anything i see even an ice cube i'm feeling kind of hot let me switch on my ac first yes what have you got i want to see what you have got oh are you back have you brought anything back let me see idol wow nathan i like your idol did you take it from your uh, christmas setting i hope your parents are okay with it put it back again is that chocolate cold vedika is it icy cold okay darling i understand okay okay that's a nice compress runch i saw that beautiful something cold okay oh you have ice cream thank you hridaya Hridaya Bharat Kumar, 
and Ira. Yes, yes. Rehanch, actually, that's my favorite uh, flavor. No, not flavor, favorite uh, brand of ice cream. I think it's NIC, right? Nice ice cream. I like that, Rehanch. Thank you so much. The Madagascar chocolate is to die for. It's so good. Well, so many of you have ice creams at your place in December. I'm surprised. Thank you, Samarth. Thank you, Aishani. Rachita, that's a beautiful idol. I like it. Uh, I'm happy to see Tia's entire family here. Four of you are here. Thank you. No, please do not go away from the screen. We love to see you all. Thank you. Adab, that's a beautiful statue of, that's an idol of Nataraja. Yes, beautiful. It's great. It looks beautiful. It's priceless. Thank you. Thank you so much for getting up and bringing stuff. Those of you whom I have not mentioned, I'm so sorry. Uh, moving on, but thank you so much for being kind enough to get up and get that ice cream or that icy cold drink, whatever that you got for me. And uh, my salutations and respect to all of the spiritual idols that we have brought to the screen today. Thank you so much. Now we are in the next page. What is this? Inhale. Everybody is doing this right now, no? Nobody is an exception to this. We inhale and exhale constantly, no? So to breathe in air is inhale. Inject is to, you know, whenever we felt sick, we dreaded to go to the doctor to get that injection. Yeah, to insert or introduce something usually used to mention the needle or the syringe that is used to put that liquid medicine inside our body. Yes, that is the injection. The act of putting it inside our body is to inject. Injury, yeah, every time we fell off our bicycles, we got that injury. We know what is injury. Inner, something that's the opposite of outer. Insect, all these mosquitoes, flies, and nasty insects that fruit flies. I see fruit flies now everywhere. Fruit flies, yeah? On my bananas. All of these are insects. We don't like, you know, cockroach. Yeah. Insides. Opposite of outside, interest. See, interest has two meanings. The feeling of wanting to know something. Also, when the extra money that you get when you make deposits in banks, because they have your money and they are using that money for something, they pay us some money. So that is interest. So interest can have two meanings. In the exam, even the second meaning can be there in the exam paper. So study both, okay? Don't just study the first meaning. Interval, we all know what is an interval, a small time or gap. That time we will be waiting uh, in the movies for the popcorn. Yeah. Invisible, not visible. Invite to request some, someone to come. We know all of these, right? Now, what are you going to do for this page? You're going to find out from the picture what word could it be. Are you ready? Huh, what is happening? What is the word? Can you type in that chat? Good job. It is invisible. Very nice. Not insect. Does he look like an insect to you? Ink? No. In Harry Potter, if you have watched the movie, you will know that there is an invisibility cloak, a real cloak like this. Once somebody wears this, they become totally invisible. Harry Potter has it. Okay. Here we have isle, island, isle, itch, ivory, jacket, jam, jelly, jewel, jigsaw. Okay, looks like you're going to now get up and go. What have you got for me? Go and get something. You have time to run is here. Jacket. Summer, you are wearing a jacket. Wow, that was very, very quick of you. With the hood and all. Beautiful, Summer. What has anyone else? Okay, this is winter. So I think you have your jackets about you. I can understand that. Aniket, Ira, all of you are going for jackets. Okay. Shrika wow. is showing a jewel. Who has? Oh, thank you so much if you're here, mom. Please do contribute. Anybody has jam or jelly? Anybody is eating with me? I think I'm hungry. I'm asking for ice creams and jams and jellies. I'm so sorry. Ira is showing uh, uh, jelly. Advit is showing a jam bottle. Swaran is showing a 
jelly or something. Anika is showing bananas. Yes, Nathan Anushka has a gold jam. chain. Ashika has a bangle. We have, oh, what is this? Oh, jam, yes. Jacket, jam, jewel. Thank you, thank you so much. Ram, she's showing an iron box. Yeah, because we have iron in this page. Good. Oh. Good thinking. Very nice. This character that is there in this page is actually, I know some of you like playing this. Somebody showing a pink colored doll. Nice. Like. Pink colored doll? I think it's a jacket or something. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Beautiful. Pia Goyal is showing a jacket. Yeah. Many of them have jackets. So that's the most popular one there. Thank you so much. Now we are now in this page. Can you tell me what is the difficult word here? Jug we know. Judge we know. But judge can also be a person who decides the winner in the competition, but it can also be the judge in the court of law. See? So judge. But both of them are the most important people there, right? So they decide the winner or they decide who's the criminal. Uh, joyful we know. Joy we know. Jolly we know. Joker we know. Joke we know. Joint is when? Where? The spot where many parts come together. Where they unite. Right? So that's the place. A joint. Or it can also mean that something is belong, something belongs to more than one person. To two people or more people. A joint uh, venture. If many people join together and start a company, that's called a joint venture, right? So jog is to run slowly. And jingle can, me can mean a short musical tune that you have in advertisements, or it can also mean the clink clang sound of the metal or glass. Okay, so let's see what you're going to do for this page. Okay, what is the word here? Which word are you trying to enact? Not glass, not jog. The emoji is not jogging. Yes, joyful. But nobody is laughing joyfully. Where is the joy in your face? Let me look at it. Oh yeah, Ankush, that's a very, very pretty smile. Yes, that is the joy. And they say this is the season to be merry. Where is the merry? Yeah, that's the joy I love to see in your faces. Beautiful faces. Right. Juggle, July, Jump, Junction, June, Jungle, Junior, Jupiter, Kaftan. Okay, I think this is a difficult word. Kaftan is a long, loose dress, usually made from cotton or silk. See what this woman is wearing here. In between Jupiter and a kangaroo, there is a woman here who is wearing a kaftan. So this is a kaftan, a kangaroo and keen. I think the rest of the words are okay. Now for this page, you are going to find the word based on the picture. Are you ready? Okay. What is the words? That's not a kangaroo. Very good. I deliberately did not tell you the meaning of this word while we were discussing the words because I wanted you to find and you found it. Very good. This is juggle. Juggling is doing more than one thing at a piece at any point of time. When uh, your mother says, I'm juggling too many things, I need some help. That means that she is doing a lot, right? And to throw and catch many objects repeatedly. So this is the literal meaning of juggle. Right, let's go to the next page. Oh, we have a pointer, which means we are going to find all of these uh, images, words, right? So we have keep, to have, or to hold. A kennel, that's where the dogs or cats live. A kettle is a pot with a lid and handle and a spout. A lid, a handle and spout. All of these are here? Yes. Khaki, a dark yellowish brown cloth, often used in military uniforms. You know what's the meaning of kick? To hit with one's foot. What you do to a ball, I hope, not to anybody else. And what is the meaning of kidnap? To take away or forcibly hold a person. And forcibly hold a person. Kind, a group of things with same qualities. And gentle and helpful. So two different meanings there, right? 
king is the male ruler of a country. A kite can be a plaything with a light frame and thin material that flies in the air with the help of a spring. Or it can also mean another thing, an eagle-like bird with long wings. That is also kite. You know what's a kitten? A young one of a cat's. Kiwi. It's not kiwi. Long sounds. Kiwi. It can be a fruit. It can be a bird that cannot fly. And they are both found in New Zealand. So kiwi it can be a fruit. It can also be a bird. And what is knee? A joint in the leg where the leg bends. So that's your knee. Now, we know the words. We are now going to find the captions. What is the first picture? Good job. That is not a king. That is a kennel. What is the second word? This way, all is clear, ma'am. Very nicely. Thank you, ma'am. What is the second word? Very good. That is a kettle. Good job. And who is this? Sorry. I was a little fast. That is a king. And the last picture, no, the last two pictures are for the same word. Very good. That is kite. That's also kite. And this is also kite. No? Very good. Okay. In this page, you're going to run and get me anything from this. It can be a kneecap. No, please don't do that because that's a bone. It's not your knee. A kneecap is a bone. A knob can be a round handle. Please do not break your toes. Don't get that. Knock. You cannot get a knock. Knot. Possible. If you have a rope, put a knot and show me. Knuckle. Ah, you have this on your body. You can show me your knuckle. Just make a fist and you will see the bony joints of your fingers. So that's your knuckle. Lace. It can be your shoelace or it can be a net like fabric that uh, you have in women's clothes or baby's clothes. That's also lace. Ladder, don't try to bring in a ladder. Can be, be huge for you to carry. Ladle, yes. A ladle is a long-handled spoon that you use to serve gravy or soup or anything. Ladle is not a spoon. It's bigger than a spoon, right? Lady, oh, if you have your mom around, why not? Really Lady mom, all of them are having something. Their parents are running and bringing everything. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to get up and go. You're using no, no. as well. They're actually chasing their moms. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Aksar, what you have is not a ladle. You cannot scoop up liquid. So that's not a ladle. What Vedant has, that's a soup spoon. What Advait has is a ladle. Very good. I think you also have lace. That's good. Mahi, what are you holding, darling? I wonder what you're holding. Mahi, what you're holding? You can unmute and speak. Aksar, that's a spoon. Ah, Rafia, have you made a knot in the rope? Very good. Ankush, that's good. That's a ladle. Very good. Okay. Kneecap. Meter. Kneecap. Kneecap. No, no, no. What you're holding is not a kneecap. What you're holding is uh, a knee band. A kneecap, as you can read here, it is the bone on the front of your knee joint. Kneecap is a bone. Okay? Okay, darling. All right. I can see Advait has a lace. Many ladders I see. All right. We are running short of time. So let's go to the next page. Ha. Huh. Here we have lamb. Young one of a sheep. See, it's not lamb. Lamb. Because the B after M is always silent. Lamb. But P after M is pronounced. See, it's lamb. You can see the P in the phonetics. So lamb, lamb, lane, lantern. Lap, large, lost, latch, late, laugh, lays, lazy. Lays is to relax and enjoy. 
Lazy is when you're not interested or not active at some work. Leaf, I know, I'm sure you know what a leaf is. It's a part of uh, uh, plants or a tree that produces the food. Oh, that's an emoji. Tell me which word you're trying to enact. And let me see, very good. Not lamp, not lantern. Good, you're trying to laugh. But are you laughing? Nitara, that's not a laugh. You're very sarcastic about it. Please laugh heartily like Ashika is doing. Oh, she's also dancing. Very, very happy to see you are laughing, laughing face. Happy, happy face. Yes, you're looking very pretty. When you're laughing, you're looking especially pretty. Okay, next one. Leak, lean, leave, don't leave, be here. Left, lemon, leopard, let, lever, liar, lies, light, like. I think every word here is very simple. Is there any word that you don't, don't understand? Lean is mean, it means like being very thin and healthy and to bend from an upright position, to lean down. So when a, a very tall person has to speak with a very short person, they lean down, no? So that is also lean. I think every other word is easier. Somebody who likes is called a liar. Ah, lever. So that's a big, uh, that's a new word for some people. What's a lever? You can see here, a one, two, three, fourth picture. If you want to lift a very heavy object, they use a system like this, right? A bar or a rod used to move or lift something. It's easier when you do this. So this is, there is a science behind it. It's very, very uh, easy to lift a very huge stone when you have a lever like this. See, that is lever, okay? Otherwise to lift just that stone can be very difficult. With this, you can move it, lift it. So this is called a lever. I think, Every other word is easy, lemon, leek. But L-double-E-K, that's a vegetable. L-E-A-K is when uh, you, es uh, to escape through a hole or a crack, uh, generally when liquid comes out of uh, the hose or the pipe, it leaks, right? Or you let out a secret, that is also to leak the secret. Now, you're going to tell me the word for this picture. What is this? Who can tell me what is this? It's not a leak. Are you sure it's a leopard? I have made a deliberate mistake. I wantedly made this mistake. That is not a leopard. Can you tell me what animal that is? Very good. That is a cheetah. So what's the difference between a cheetah and a leopard? And there is also one another commonly confused animal with leopard and cheetah. You know what is that? I'll tell you. Jaguar. So a jaguar will have a coat like this. It has large rosettes, meaning this rose-like pattern, with spots in the middle. And also a darker, thicker outline. So this is what a jaguar's coat will look like. A leopard will have plain rosettes with no central spots and it's more densely packed. It has a lot of spots like this. Whereas a cheetah will have solid spots like this and it is not a rosette like this. So this is cheetah and the center one is a leopard's coat and this is a jaguar. Now tell me, what did you see here? Is this a leopard? No, like some of you have rightly guessed, that is a cheetah. Good job. Now, what is this emoji? What is it doing? What you're also doing, but you're not listening to music. You are very attentively listening to me. You are very good children. I love you all. So you are all listening. These are your listening faces. See how keen, how interested, how uh, beautifully you are listening. Very attentively. Good, good job, everyone. Oh, time to get up. Please don't make your parents run for you. You get up, go get something, a lock or a lollipop or a loom, a lotus or any machine. It can be a punching machine also, doesn't matter. So let's see what you've got. I'm looking at you right now. Mehan, you have a car? It's a toy truck. What word is it for? Oh, lorry. Okay, you have a toy lorry. 
That's great. Jayati, why are you blowing a balloon now? Are you going to make a loud sound by popping it? <laughs> what are you planning to do? <laughs> okay. Lori, uh, lollipop. Nathan has a lollipop. Oh, many of you have jolly rancher lollipops. Okay, not just you. I can see many lollipops. Advai, why are you shining a torchlight at me? Is there a light? No. Why light? I don't get it. Okay. Some okay, Anika has started eating her lollipop. I love you. No problem. Have fun. You can suck on your lollipop. I don't mind. Oh, Rayansh has a toy lotus. That's beautiful. I think that's from your birthday candle. Very nice. Okay, punching machine, Samat. Good job. Bhargav Reddy also has a punching machine. Advait has a lock. Samriddhi also has a lock. Good job. Good job, everyone. Lotus, Aniya. That's a very pretty yellow lotus. Plastic lotus, though. It's okay. Good job. Now we are here in this uh, page. Okay, magic, male, maze, major, make, mandarin. Okay, mandarin, it can be a type of an orange fruit or it is also the main language of the country, China. So mandarin for, when you want to use it as a language, you always start it with a capital M, right? What is the tough word here? Male, male can be the adult female horse. I think every other word is very easy for you. Marigold is the flower. Uh, mane can be difficult. Do you have mane? Yeah, mane is the thick, long hair on the neck of a horse or a lion. See, so this is the mane. The fourth and the fifth pictures, that's a mane. Now, I told you a mandarin can be a, we have two meanings for this. Mandarin can be a fruit, it can also be a language. So when you have words like this, when you make the first letter a capital word, a capital letter, and it means a totally new thing. That's called a capitonym. Another example is Turkey. With small t, that's a bird. With capital T, it's a country. Interesting, no? So with that, I'll go to the next page. All right. This emoji is especially for this particular holiday season. What word is this representing? Merry, very good. Why should we say Merry Christmas and not Happy Christmas? What is the meaning of Merry? Merry and Happy both mean the same, no? Yes, Merry means joyful. Merry means jolly, being festive. Yeah, so that is a, they both can be synonyms, but it's a total, it can be have a little difference like this. Like it is a celebration, being festive, being joyful. Yeah, so that's why Merry Christmas is more popular than Happy Christmas. Right, any difficult words here? I think all are easy. Okay, now I want you to carefully look at the last word here. Okay, M-I-K-E. That's the short form of microphone. What you hold and speak uh, if you want to address a large crowd. Okay, remember that because I'm using that word here. You can see the picture here. This must have been in the last page because you're going to write the words for all of these pictures. Are you ready? Mild, mill, mind, mine, minor, miss, mist, mix, mole. So mole can be a small animal with dark fur and tiny eyes that digs underground and eats insects or it can also mean a birthmark. Okay, so mole has two meanings like this. Monkey, I'm sure you know. Months, we know we have uh, 12 day, twelve months in a year, you know, the, starting from January till December, they're in the last month of the year. Now you're going to tell me the words. So I just told you the first picture. It's very simple. It's Mike. Very good. Another spelling for this can also be M-I-C. Okay. Mike. And the second picture here is... Mist, very good, M-I-S-T. And the third and the fourth picture are for the same word. And what word is that? 
Very good. Can you see a mole on her face? It's right here on her tree. So that is a mole. And the last word, month. Very good. Actually, it should be months, I think. But still, okay. Month. Good job. Right. I think we are going to go to the last letter. I think, with, no, with O, we'll stop. We'll make it faster. Kani ma'am is waiting. Kani ma'am, I'll finish in about uh, 10 minutes. Kani ma'am, sorry. Here we have moon, mop, mo, morning, most, move, mo. Mo is to cut down the grass. They use mo what to do it. That's the next word, right? Much, mug. What is mundane? Mundane means being very dull, not at all interesting, very boring. I don't uh, think that you feel that about my class. This is not mundane, right? This is the opposite of mundane. We are having fun, yes. What is the meaning of nag? Nag is to annoy or to complain continuously. None of you will do that, right? Yeah. Ha, huh, nail. It has two different meanings. It can be a pin that is used as a hook or it can also mean the nails that you have on your toes and fingers. Yeah, so those are also nails. I think every other word is easy. Oh, no, I don't think you will return empty-handed like Jerry. You will run and find something from this list. Let's see what you are bringing back. Can you find a nail? Oh, you have nails right about you. So if you don't feel like going, you can do just like what Suresh Raju Pili is doing, showing his nails. How very smart. Everybody is doing that. Yeah, if you're very tired, you can just do that. Show me your nails like that. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. Oh, I thought many of you are drinking something. Now I understand you're showing me your coffee mug and chocolate drinks mug. So that's the mug. Okay, wow, you have many, many mugs. Somebody also has a mug from the bathroom. I think that's Aida. Okay, that blue colored mug. So mug can also be that, no? The bucket and mug in the bathroom and also coffee mug. Very nice. Okay, good job, everyone. Let's go to the next page, okay? Here. I'm going to ask you to guess the picture. Who is this person taking care of this girl? Not name. Let's come from the end. She's not a nobody. She is definitely somebody. It's not night. Definitely she is not a niece. Oh, this little girl can be a niece. Okay. Nice. It's a very nice picture, I understand. But that's not the word. Nib. Next. She is not a newborn. She is not new. Never. Needle. That's not a needle that's going inside her mouth. That's a spoon. Both of them have necks. So it cannot be neck still. Napkin. They might have a napkin, but that's not that. So it should be. Okay. You love your nanny a lot? I also do. Good job. So who is a nanny? A nanny? Uh. Generally, they assume that it's the grandmother, but nanny means a woman who is paid to take care of a child or children. Okay. So the nanny is a babysitter kind of. Okay. Who grooms the baby. Now we have this page. Here you're going to find. Okay. I found this very interesting. See, see here, here, here you have October and octopus. Both of these words have octo, means eight. So October actually used to be the eighth month. You know that? But now it's the 10th month. You know why? Because earlier we did not have January and February. It's been a long time I looked at you. So here I am back. So earlier we did not have January and February. That was added very, very late. So October was the eighth month. And that is why it had Octo in it. Like octopus has eight tentacles. October was the eighth month. And uh, now let's see the next two words. That is also very interesting. What happened? Yeah. O-F and O-F-F. -F. How do you pronounce O-F? It's of, not off. Of. And O-F-F -F is off. Interesting, no? Right. So now you're going to guess. Of all the words here, which you have only five. 
which you have only five. Can you guess? Which you have only five? No, of all the words that you have on this page, not on your body. Here in this page. Can you guess? Senses? No. Yes, I got the answer from somebody. I missed the name, but the student who said ocean applause is to you because that is what I wanted. We have five oceans, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific, Indian, and Southern Ocean. So the answer I wanted was ocean. So what is the word here? Which word is this emoji for? When you're hurt, oh, I thought suddenly my class is boring and you're all looking very upset. Now I understand you are enacting the emoji. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, that's why you're looking like that. Okay. So what's the word? No, not injury, not old, not ocean. Ah, yes, that's the word. Ouch. Ouch. Yes, when you are hurt, you will say ouch, right? Good job. Any difficult word here? No. I think everyone is easy. Opt is to choose. Okay. Very good. I think with that, we have come to the last page. And here you're going to guess. What is the word for this picture? Very good, Ihan. That is the word. She is overworked. And with that, we have finished words and meanings. And it's almost about time for me to complete. Let me quickly also finish your crossword round. See, for your crossword, so this is the median page and you only have six exercises. It's not a very long round, just six. And here you will find every exercise is based on a theme. So the theme here is meanings. You're just going to find out the words for these meanings. A mistake is a flaw. So across is from left to right. Down is from top to bottom. That's all. And you will look at the numbers in the boxes. So two across is a mistake. So F-L-A-W. And one down is a short story. So F-A-B-L-E, fable, right? So when we go and, okay, I'm not done. Let's look at the answers, yeah. The largest planet in the solar system is Jupiter. And the flat, thin, green part of a plant is a leaf. A flying insect, one of its kind collects honey. What is that? Bee. So there are many different types of bees, not just honeybees. We have bumblebees also, many other kinds also, right? So only one of its kind collects honey. Good. Seventh one. A period of four weeks is a month. We know that. And a short story. We saw it's a fable. The sixth month of the year, that is... What is, yeah, that's June. It's right here. That's the sixth month. House made of eyes is igloo. Foot on a hook used to catch fish. There is a specific name for that. What is it called? It's called bait. B-A-I-T, bait. Female of any bird is hen. H-E-N, hen. That's it. As simple as that. So the first one was on meanings. And the second one is on we finished this, right? The second one is here. This is on singular and plural. Very simple. The plural of scarf is, let's look at it with answers. It's scarves. Plural of mouse is mice. Right? Plural of hanky, hankies. Gloves, oh, singular of gloves is glove. Not that difficult. Plural of photo is photos. Nanny, nannies. Dear, ah, that's a tricky one. Plural of dear is also dear, not dears, no? And what's the singular of dice? The cubes that you roll when you play board games, that's a dice. Only if you have two. If you have only one, it's called a die. D-I-E, die. That's the singular form, right? Plural of tooth 
is teeth. Plural of monkey. Monkeys. Easy one. So this is a second exercise that's based on singular and plural. After that, you have a picture-based one. Interesting, right? So this is how you're going to find from the picture. I think you know what is this one easy? It's very easy already. It's kite. We just saw that, right? This is a kite. Across one is kite. Across four is a sparrow. Across seven is a pelican. Across eight is a swan. Across nine is an ostrich. No. What is this? Down one is a parrot. Down two. Down two is a kiwi. Not kiwi. Kiwi. Right? And down three is a pigeon. And down five. Easy. That's a penguin. And down six is the peacock. Of all the pa of all the birds here, can you tell me which is our national bird? Very good. Peacock. Very good. Of all the birds here, can you tell me which bird also has a fruit name after it? Very good. You're very smart. You've been listening very carefully. You are good children. I love you. Let's go see exercise number four. This is based on animals, right? So let's see the answers also. This one is a porcupine. This is a, what is the second one? It's a tortoise. There is a difference between tortoise and your down five. That is turtle. Turtle is uh, usually found in water. Tortoise, it is a, and usually land living up. This is panda, we know that. And what is this? Across apes, that's a rabbit, not a hat. Has have long, H-A-R, they have long legs and they look different than how rabbits look. Rabbits, they live in burrows, right? Has they live on the ground. And what is this? Number nine, ape. And what is this? We know it's a kangaroo. Down two is a horse. Down four. What is down four? Leopard. We saw that very recently. Down five is a turtle. Down six is an octopus. And this is your next exercise. All of these are on the theme nature. Very easy. Ocean, farm, snow, seashore, earth, and that's a vine. Grapes grow in vines, a climbing plant, right? And this is sun. I'm doing down now. Sun, a fountain. Um, what is this? A forest. And the last picture here is an island. And uh, now we are in the last exercise. Here it is based on etymology. What is etymology? Study of root words, right? Origin of words. So here all of these words are based on non. Non means not. Something that has no meaning. Not in same in value. Not poisonous. Not having life. Um, what else? Not containing milk. So everything will have non. Okay. Let's see the words. So what is something that has no meaning? What is that called? Nonsense. Doesn't make any sense. Nonsense. Right. Continuing without a pause or a halt. It's not stopping. So it is non-stop. Not same in value or rank. Non-equal. Very simple. And what do you call somebody who doesn't eat meat? He is a, sorry, one who eats meat. He is a non-vegetarian. A non-vegetarian eats meat. Something that is not poisonous is called non-toxic. So we see that non-toxic crayons, non-toxic colors, non-toxic food colors and all that, right? Meaning it's, they're not poisonous even if you consume it. 
not having life, what can this be? Simple, non-living things, non-living. Not very long or elaborate, that is non-detail. When we were in school, we had something called non-detail. Your parents might know about this. A storybook that they have along with their textbook. Uh, that will not be very long. So it's called non-detail. And next we have not using words or speech, only face expressions and body actions. That is non-verbal, I think. Is that correct? Yes, non-verbal, not using words. A cooking utensil, which allows easy removal of food because food will not stick to it. Very good, non-stick. Last one, not containing milk or any milk product. That is, what is that? Non-dairy. Dairy is milk, so non-dairy. So this, I had a game. It will take some time. I'm not sure if Kanima will scold me. Kanima, do I have time? No, right? I'll very quickly go to this blueprint. So for the national level exam, these are the rounds that you can expect. Not just these new rounds that you're reading. You have from your spell it right till compound words and kinds and types of words. Okay. So all of these 12 rounds and you can also see the mark distribution. You have many rounds with only five questions and many rounds with 10 questions. So word analysis, find the correct sentence, form the correct sentence and reading comprehension, only five questions and the rest of the rounds, 10 questions. And every question will carry one mark. And do not leave any question unattended. Attend all the questions, okay? With that, I want to wish you all the very best. And I will definitely be looking forward to see you in the international level bootcamp. A very good participation today. Hats off uh, the entire families, not just the children who were attentively listening to my session. Now I leave the stage for Kanima. Kanima, are you here? Yes, ma'am. Very sorry, Kanima. It's okay, ma'am. I'm spotlighting you. Yes. Relax. Yes. Thank you, Elena. Thank you for uh, leaving 30 minutes for me. All right. You would have seen the 300 words and words and meanings. You should have seen crossword. Crossword was easy, you know. It was like a game. You liked playing this in Young World and all the magazines. Yes. All right. The next two rounds that we have here, we have only three extra rounds on national level. You know that, right? You are already done with the crossword. So you have only two more rounds and then that's it. You're all uh, aces, experts in national level. You can just go and write your exam tomorrow. That will be that easy. The two rounds that we'll be seeing now is any idea? Round numbers, any round. If you have been already with us the previous years, you would have known, you would know this. The actually going to say round 11 and round 12. Round 11, word weaving is the simplest of all the rounds. You know, you, you, didn't, you didn't even read for this. You didn't study anything. It will be like small, easy puzzles that you'll be able to answer. Let's just try answering a few puzzles from word weaving and then we'll jump to round 12, that is compound words. Your round 11 word weaving and round 12 compound words and kinds or types of words. But when I say word weaving, what do you understand? What do you mean by weaving? You know what's weaving, no? Weaving is they put one thread and another thread together and make uh, cloth. It can be a sari, it can be a bed sheet, it can be a hanky. Weaving is weaving different uh, looms, strings to make a product. What, what is word weaving? Not weaving letters into the cloth. No, that's not it. And uh, before I tell, I tell you what is word weaving. Weaving is a, an activity with which you make different kinds of things. The same thread or uh, no, loom can be used to make different types of things. No? Bags, pouches, um, scarves, blank, I mean blankets, carpets. You only need to learn the art of weaving. Likewise, with only these 26 alphabets in English, you can weave a lot of words. All the lakhs and lakhs of words contain only those 26 alphabets. And this round is about how we, you can weave and learn new words from just single words. 
So word weaving helps us in learning more words. What kind of exercises do we have in word weaving? This is your median page. There is a clue in this design itself as to what are the exercises you have in this round. Can you guess? We have like three different uh, questions, three different patterns in this round. If you can see the first one, there is like a wheel. That is your word wheel. You will be having a picture that is a clue and then a jumbled letter around the picture. You have to unjumble the sentence. What is this picture? Windmill, no? So windmill, we write it in the bottom. And then you have to fi find four more new words from those letters, weaving new words. We have a few letters there. You need to find four more words, like wind, new word, mill, new word. Anything else? Will. Will is a new word. You can use chat box. I hope the chat box is open. I will be, uh, we'll be answering questions together. Can you type it? I mean, type in the chat box. Are you able to type in the chat box? Can you say yes or no in the chat box? Yes, yes. All right. Super. Beautiful. Okay. So, wind, will, will, wild, anything else? Anything other than the four uh, words that you see on the screen? Anything else? Very good. Wind is also a word. Ill is a word. Mind. Mind is also a word. Good job. Wind, will, mind. Okay. And... That is word wheel. And you see any other kind of exercise here? We saw word wheel. There, there are these tags, no? That, uh, that is word stars. Your next kind of exercise would be word stars, where you will be given the first letter and the either the second letter or the last letter, and you will be given meanings like this. The movement of air is when side to side measurement with. The coldest season of the year, winter. This is word stress. Is there any other kind of exercise in this round? Are you able to see here? Anything? There is something in the bottom part, no? What is that? That is word combo. Word combo in the sense you'll be given alphabets on your left, alphabets on your right. And one mandatory alphabet or alphabet in the middle. You have to combine one alphabet from your left, use the com uh, compulsory part, and one alphabet from the right. For example, F, you take from F, D, W, F, and compulsory I, N, F, I, N. Find, find is a word. No, that find is a word. Find is a word. Yes. So, three kinds of exercises you have in this round. And your word wheel will be like this in your book. You'll be having uh, 20 word wheels. Yes. Let's just see a few. This is your example question. You see a tricycle in the middle. That is your clue. And the tricycle is coming from the jumbled words. Tricycle is the word. You write the word in the bottom part. And then you write the many words that you can form from these alphabets. Litter, cycle. What what is the correct spelling? Litter or litter? Like uh, you see the first one, no? There are two spellings for litter. Which one is the correct spelling? All is the correct spelling. Both are correct. One is used in US English and one is used in UK English. Uh, L I T R E is UK English. Since we are using British English, for us L I T R E should be correct. Let's go to the question that we'll be answering together. What word is this? Jumbled word. Again, the clues in the picture. This is your picture that's in the middle. Ahana Jashi, correct. The spelling is wrong. Yes, Ranch. The right answer is scarecrow. You scarecrow is kept in the pack. Any field to scare away the crows? That is scarecrow. This is like uh, made from hay and coat and the stick and all. Okay, can you uh, form words from the alphabets that's around the scarecrow? Crow, scar, scarecrow. It's there. The car is correct. Race, scar, crow, row. Anything else? Scar. Work. Work. Work case. Now they work. Can't come. Scar, scar, 
pro rho. Once you have rho, it's O W is there. S E W is not there. So cow scar ekerar. You can write n number of words, but for the purpose of the exam, you'll be asked to write only four words. But uh, in your international level tie round, you may get this question like this, and you'll be asked to write any the maximum number of words that you can write from this. Or it could be also a uh, question in the tie round. So uh, the more number of words you use, the more marks you write, the more marks you will get in your tie exam. All right. Your next one is this. This is the clue that is a bird. PGN is correct. Sometimes the smallest words, you know, it's very difficult for us to form words from this. So PGN is correct. Can you form some more words from here? Pig. Yes. Ping. Okay. Pig the ping. Pin. One. Not bad. Not pong. I get pin, ping. On. No. Yes. Pig, pin, on, go, no, fine. Eon. What is eon? Eon. That happened eons ago. Very long time that cannot be measured. Hundreds of years ago. So eon and peon. Peon. PN is an office system. All right. Oh, nice. Dawn is also there. Not bad. Pen is there? Yes. Okay. With that, we are done with word wheel. You're going to go to word stars. We're going to start climbing stars. Are you ready? And this is how it will be there in your book. Let's see one by one. This is actually your example question, but I just... Here, you're given the first letter and the last letter. A and M. So a uh, pronoun and am, I am happy. I am studying. Am is a pronoun, it's already there. What is the second one? Start with A, ends with M, it's goal. Army, yes. Goal, okay. The smallest particle. Atom. A device that makes a loud sound to signal or alert. The last one. Arnish Kundu, very good. This is the, these are the correct answers. Goal is aim, smallest, smallest particle is atom. Uh, a device that makes a loud sound is an alarm. All right, with that, we'll go to the next question. A conjunction, it's already there, no? Are you able to see? A conjunction is or. The first letter is o, o and the last one is R. The conjunction, us or we. The next one. Your clue is us or we. Ahana Joshi, not bad. It is our. Second one is our. Okay. The third one, finished or above. My lunch is over. Okay, over. O V E R is correct. The third one is O V E R. And the last one, outside or external, Vian Pachar, is out. out. Very simple, no? So we'll just see one more and we'll jump on to word combo. Uh, I propose here, if you can see the first and second, they have given the first and second letters. So uh, a proposition two, I'm going to the school two theories, okay? Second one, one of the five tips, digits on one's foot. You call these fingers. What are the same things in your feet that you call? Two, no? So T-O-E, two is correct. Past tense of tell, told, tell, told is correct. One of the five senses in your body, sight, smell, taste, hearing, anything else? He answering. Tongue is an organ, it's not a sense. Touch, touch is correct. So, oh my God. The second one is stove, the third one is told, and the last one is touch. With that, as promised, we are going to word combo. This is how it is there in your book. You have a column A, B, A, L, mandatory part, the pink color one, and the column B, the blue color one. Let's see your example sentence, example first. You take uh, one from A, definitely from B, and one from C. So B, I, N, first one is already correct. B-A-N is correct. Can you 
try other thing, other things. B I M B not correct. B I K big. There is no word for that. The A I N in no. A I M in yes correct. Anything else is possible? A I K I no. L I N L no. L I M no. L I M L I K no. Only these two. Kin can't come no. Kin you can't say kin. You have to choose from one from A. One from B and one from C. That's it. So uh, no other word is possible, only these things. Let's see here. Choose one from A, B, and C. M R T Mrt no. M R U Mru no. M R Y no. Let's go for A. A R T R is correct. Very good. The first word is R. A R U R U no. A R I R E no. F R T no. F R U F R I right. So the right answers are only two possible right answers are there. Art and fry. Yes, no other word is possible from that cell. So okay, this one. We have two uh, alphabets in the middle part. So Q R A Y Tray. No, it's not part. P R A K Prat can't come. Q R L No Q R K No. O R No Oral. Oral is there, no? So oral is you. Okay. Uh, crack. Q or AK is your first word. That's correct. Let's crack open this case. Case. Crack. Let's crack open this egg. So your first word is crack. No? No. Crack is wrong. There is no word called crack. That's CRE. CK. Your first word is oral. The second word is pray. Only two, Adya, Adya, sorry, crack is not a word. Only oral and pray are the possible words. With that, we are done with round 11. Round 11 is easy, no? If it's very easy, just tell me yes or no. If it's not easy, tell me no. Is round 11 easy or no? Yes or no? Yes, 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 pray. Okay, I'm praying that it's easy. All right. With that, we are jumping on to your round 12. Compound words and types of words. But what do you mean by compound word? Word, you know, it's a word. Anything is a word. Walk, run, sun, rain. Everything is a word. What is a compound word? When you join two words to make a new word, the meaning of the new word will be not relevant to the old words at all. For example, rain, you know, raining. You know what's a bow, bow and arrow? It's a weapon. Both are different words. But when you join them together, it's rainbow. It has no relation to bow. Um, some relation to rain, but it's uh, giving birth to a completely new word. This rainbow is a compound word. Likely, sun, a word, shine is a verb. Anything can shine, gold can shine, diamond can shine. When you bring it both together, bring them both together, they make this compound word called sunshine. I'll give you some more examples. Tooth. And brush can be any brush, hair brush, toilet brush. Then you put it together, toothbrush, a completely different product. Run, running way is telling which way to go. But what is the runway? Runway is where, you know, airplanes take off. Star, fish, completely different things. And if, when they combine together, that becomes starfish. That's another the organism. No? Okay, this is how this exercise is there in your book. Compound words. Let's just try a few questions. Are you able to see this? He was within hearing distance from me. I can always, you know, keep watch on what he's saying. What day hearing distance is the meaning? What is the word? Earphone. Yes. His earmark is. Marking something for future use that can't be there. Earphone is this one. Hearing distances, ear short. His within ear short means I'm able to hear whatever he's doing. That is the meaning of ear short. Ear short is the correct answer, not ear. <laughs> Carpet, carpets is not a compound word. That's just a different word. Okay. Dawn. What is dawn? Early morning. I wake up at dawn. I wake up at 5, 5 a.m. That's dawn. So the compound word that means dawn is not daytime till 12 o'clock is daytime, no? 
day hours is not a proper compound word. A day break. I wake up at day break. I wake up at dawn. Is correct. So day break is the meaning for dawn. So day break is correct. I think Alru ma'am was already talking to you about this. The flat bone on the front of your knee. The flat bone. What is that? Nah, it's not knee pad. It's not knee hole. It's knee cap. Someone was actually showing Alru ma'am knee pad. Yes, the kneecap is the bone inside your skin. You can't take it out. That is your kneecap. Right answer is kneecap. Maintaining something in good condition. They maintain this. They are maintaining this uh, the heritage building very well. Upkeep. Upkeep is correct. The upkeep of this building is very good. Upkeep is maintaining something properly. So upkeep is correct. Up out. I mean, outkeep, miskeep are not correct. A large, yellowish, juicy, tropical fruit. Custard apple, pineapple, wood apple. All three are fruits. All three are tropical fruits. But which one is correct? They are saying juicy, large, yellowish. Only one thing matches the description. That is pineapple. Pineapple is correct. So that we are done with compound words. You have only two exercises on compound words. And now we have kinds of types of words. If were you all part of level 2 bootcamp? Did you all see me in level 2 bootcamp? If you are all with me for level 2 bootcamp, can you just tell yes or I? Were you in level 2 bootcamp? Ashika, you were? Yes. Anyone else? Okay, Arisha Singh, if you keep spamming, they'll be asking, putting you in the waiting room. Yes. So if you were with me for uh, level 2 bootcamp, we already saw this now. Kinds or types of words. You know how many kinds or types of words are there? Parts of speech. How many parts of speech are there? This we are already done with. Yes. How many parts of speech are there? Three. No. Eight is correct. The nishta. There are eight kinds of words. Noun, pronoun, verb, verb, verb adjective, preposition, conjunction. You must have seen all these before for your round number seven. So, we all have basic understanding of what, what are noun, pronouns, verbs and all, no? If not, let's just brush up some more and then let's see the questions. And this is how these questions will be there in your book. Again, plain shoes only. Your okay, first exercise is, you'll be given a list of words. You need to tell me whether it's a noun or a pronoun. You know what are nouns? You know what are pronouns? What are nouns? Very simple. Name, place, things, ideas. Any person, any person's name. It can be mother, father, president, prime minister. And who do we have here? Ranj, Shatvika, Shubha, Vedika. All these are nouns. These are proper nouns. Common nouns are watchman, president, prime minister. All these are nouns. And the places, any place, India, Asia, ocean, hospital, school, home, or any place is a noun. And things, anything that you see, chair, table, book, mobile, ball, and idea, truth. Honesty, beauty, policy, all these are nouns. But what are pronouns? Pronouns are those that take the place of a noun for better uh, comprehension. So if I'm going to say, Shubha Otekar is a clever girl. Shubha Otekar reads a book every day. Shubha Otekar uh, is a rank holder in Philby International. The name keeps getting repeated. No? So I just say, Shubha Otekar is a clever girl. She reads a book every day. She gets up early in the morning. She is friends with Vedika Dasgupta. I substituted she in the name of uh, the noun. That is a pronoun. This is a list of pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, me, you, my, mine, myself, yourself, himself, herself. All these are pronouns. Basic understanding. No? Now we'll try answering the questions. Okay, Ranj. Okay. This is your exercise. The uh, six words on your left. Left, yes. You need to tell me whether it's a noun or a pronoun. Aunt. Is aunt. Aunt. Aunt is a noun. No doubt in that. Because aunt is a person. So now. Your. I like your glasses. Your. Your is a noun, Advik. Yes. So done. Your is not a person. No? I'm. I can be talking about you, Mr. Samarth, but Samarth is a noun. But you or your are not nouns, there are pronouns. So, your is a pronoun. 
not now, pronoun. Nobody? Nobody. Nobody, somebody, everybody, all, no, no one, someone, everyone, all these are pronouns. Pronouns, correct? Himself, Ahana Joshi, how fast you are? Himself is a B pronoun. Yes, himself is a pronoun. Infant, infant is a small baby. The picture, yeah, should be able to see on the right corner. Infant, infant is a person, no? Infant is a person, so infant is now. Postman, postman, no doubts, no? Postman is also a person, so postman is also now. Very good. So we have, no, you got six out of six in this one. Okay. Your next exercise is, you have a list of uh, adjectives on your left. You need to change this adjective. Mean. No. You have to tell me whether it's a noun or an adjective. You know what are noun? Persons, naming words are nouns. But what is an adjective? Something that describes a noun, no? Um, active, Swaraj. Relaxed, Samrita. Inquisitive, Nadal. Anything that is... Thank you, Hannah. Anything that adds more information about a noun is an adjective. For example, beautiful, girl, sour, lemon, clever box, brave, military officer. Here, beautiful, sober, clever, brave, all these are adjectives. And here, angry lady, angry, beautiful, tasty, energetic, expensive, strong, all these are adjectives. Let's go to your law. exercise. Dirty. This is a dirty bag. It adds more information to bag. So, dirty is a adjective. B is correct. Chubby. Chubby boy. Yes, chubby is an adjective. And the lady. A lady is a person. He and sing. So lady is a noun. Hanky. Hanky. Adjective. No, hanky is a thing, no? It's a small piece of cloth. Hanky is an adjective. See, hanky is a noun. And lazy. That was a lazy dog. Lazy. It's not a person, it's a describing word. So lazy is an adjective. And the last one, unity. Unity is a concept, an idea. Unity is an adjective. Can you give me adjectives for all these nouns? Nouns for all these adjectives. Dirty is an adjective. Can you give a noun? Dirty boy, okay. Chubby. Chubby dog, chubby cheeks. Okay, thank you, Arnish. Uh, lady, lady is a noun. Can you give me an adjective for lady? Adjective for lady. Beautiful lady, Sunita, thank you. Hanky, super lady. Hanky, pretty lady, okay. Clean hanky, red hanky, beautiful. Unity, unity, unity. Green hanky, okay. Unity is a noun. Give me an adjective. Need unity? No. Need hanky, I guess. Strong unity. Strong unity is correct. Okay. Thank you. All right. Your next, I think we are done with this. Your next uh, round is, you're going to turn adjectives into nouns. You have, uh, no. You're going to turn nouns into adjectives. You have nouns on your left. You have to change these nouns into adjectives. And before we go to the exercise, can you tell me this? Angry is a, an adjective, no? Can you change it into a noun? Angry. Strong unity, okay? Angry is an adjective. Angry lady, angry man. Anger, yeah? very good. Anger is correct. Anger is noun. Angry is adjective. Hungry. Hungry. Hungry child. Hungry mother. Hunger. Hungry is adjective. Hunger is noun. Beautiful. Beauty. Beautiful is beautiful girl, beautiful child, beautiful is adjective. Beauty is noun. And happy. Beautiful peacock. Very good. Happiness is the noun form. Okay, now that we know this, let's try answering these questions. So dirt, I see some dirt on this plate. Dirt is a noun. And when you convert it into an adjective, dirt becomes dirty. 
right? This is a dirty plate. This is a dirty dress. This is a dirty classroom. Dirty is an adjective. The next one, child. Child is a noun. Don't behave like a child. That becomes what kind of an adjective? Childish. This is childish behavior. Childish is correct. And strength. Strengthful is not correct. Strength. Not strengthful. Strong is correct. Strength is the adjective form. Strong is the noun. No. Strength is the noun. Strong is an adjective. The strong boy. Strong the building. Shock is the noun. What is the adjective form? This is a shocking development in the story. This is a shocking news. Shocking is an adjective. As the correct adjective. And the north. The north wind. The wind is the north. The northern wind. Northern is correct. Northern is the correct adjective form. Injury. This is an in, uh, this is an injurious habit. Injurious, no? Yes. Injurious is correct. For south, it is southern. For east, eastern. West, western. North is northern. All right. Your next. Uh, you have adjectives on your right. You're going to change the adjectives into adverbs. You know what are adjectives? Something that uh, adds more information to nouns. Adverbs are adding more information to adverbs. And mostly adverbs end with L-Y. You know all this. So let's just finish this in one go. See the questions? Wise. He was a wise man. And he gave dash advice. Wisely advice. Yes. So only spelling mistake you have to check. Uh, this is a real story. Really? Uh, are you really telling this is a real story? Really is correct. Doubly. For double, it's doubly. For uneasy, it's uneasily. Joyful, joyfully. Sure, surely. All answers are having only spelling mistakes, no? So let's see if you're all guessed correctly. For wisely, really, doubly, no E in doubly, uneasily, joyfully, and surely. I hope you, you guessed all the questions correctly. And the next one is you're going to find the prepositions in the sentences. You know what are prepositions, no? Something that tells us. Where a noun is. For example, are you able to see this? Where is this puppy? It's inside the box. It's not clear. I'll show you something clear. Where is the apple? It's on the box. It's in the box. It's beside the box. Front of, behind, between, under, through. It's around the box. Anything that show, I mean, tells the place of position of something is a preposition. Let's see. In the sentence, in these sentences, tell me. Which one or which are the prepositions? Han fell off the bed. The is article, no? The is not a preposition. Off is the preposition. Wait, he fell off the bed. Once upon a time. Once or upon. Once is once or upon. Only Ihan is answering. Okay. Once is an adverb of time. Once is not correct. Upon is correct. Come in. Come is a verb. No, it's not a preposition. So, in. Come in. In is a preposition. The shop is open during the day. Open or during? Open is a verb. No, Sunita? Open the door. Open the book. So, open is not a preposition. During is a preposition. Okay. Ice cream with jelly and wafers. Wafer. With this correct... Far over, far over the misty mountains. The song in Hobbit, no? The right answer is over, far as in an adverb. Very good, we are done with that. We only have two more exercises and then we are done with that. Beautiful, you are ending by 8 o'clock. Balasa, we'll be ending the session in two minutes. Let's uh, have the important links ready. Let's do that. Yeah, no, uh, no. Find the full forms of abbreviations. We have, a, thank you, sir. We have abbreviations, no? You, simple things are here. TV is television. Yes. And anything else? Very Something that's very common. Let's see what's there in your book. We love to watch 3D movies. 3D is three-dimensional. Tanoj, very good. It is three-dimensional. 6 a.m. Let us go jogging tomorrow at 6 a.m. A.m. is anti-meridian Tanoj. Yes. No, please let us go at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. is? 
PM. PM is since that is anti meridian, they should be post meridian, not anti meridian, post meridian. And may I borrow this music CD? 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 Circular disc is correct? CD is, CD is compact disc, not circular disc. Abbreviation is short form of words that, it, that we use. The exchange, the old TV for a new one. TV is televideo. TV is television, that's correct. This mic needs new batteries. Mic. Mic is microphone. No? Let's just check if you're all correct. Three-dimensional, anti-meridian, post-meridian, compactness, television and microphone is correct. The third, we come to the last exercise. Demonyms. You know what are demonyms? Uh, we are all in India. No? We are all born in India. We have citizenship in India. We are all Indians. Those who are living in Pakistan, who are they? What do you call those people who are citizens of Pakistan? Pakistani Siham? Yes. Uh, citizens of Nepal? Nepal? Nepalese? Bhutan? Bhutanese? Yes. Let's see the answers to this. The first one, those are living in Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka? Yes, Sri Lankan. Yes. Those are living in Vietnam? Vietnam, Vietnamese. Option is B. Vietnamese is correct. Those are living in Egypt? Egyptian is correct. Okay. Those are living in Spain? Spanish is correct. Not Indian. Philippines. Those are living in Philippines. Nairuti. Why? Philippine. He has saying Philippine option A is correct. And then Singapore. Not Philips. Not Philips. I hope you're kidding. Those are living in Singapore are called Singaporeans. Okay. Those are living in England. England. It's not there here. English is correct. It's not just the language. Even the people are called English. Okay. With that, we have come to the end of this session. And uh, DK Mem was talking to you about the hs 4 and we have uh, very special links. I hope you can copy these links and uh, no, keep it somewhere because as soon as the session is over, you will not be able to see these links. It's a very important, important for us. No? Okay, the first link I would like to give to you is um, really hope you know this. So uh, please have the teachable link ready. All the 15 rounds that you have till international level, no? we have you know, done extensive videos, coaching you page by page, you know, with different beautiful pictures and gifs and videos and all. There are these rounds for these 15 videos in a place that is available to you, free of cost. It's, you know, it's included in registration. And uh, uh, hardly half of you have you know, started seeing that. Please click on the link here. It will be international.teachable.com. And in the top right corner, you'll be having the login button. And your registered email address is the user ID. Your registered mobile number is the password. Just put your email ID and the mobile number. You can go in and you can see the videos of all these 15 rounds. Do go log in and start uh, you know, seeing the videos. Then it will be very easy for you to you know, get top ranks in the exams because you know, we have done direct coaching for you. So do go to the Teachable platform and see all the videos for this. Copy, the, copy this link. Your next link is for your, our WhatsApp channel. Our official WhatsApp, Spellby International official channel where where we'll be now, we are putting award winners photos, your uh, bootcamp invitations, any word of the day and all. In a few days, we'll be putting daily quizzes and small questions that you'll be able to answer. Something for us to interact with you daily. Something for I mean, you cannot for directly if you want to tell you something, we put it in the channel and you can see. That is the link for the uh, Spellby International official WhatsApp channel. Click on it, join the channel, and you know get. Um, let's be in touch. Uh, whenever we create a quiz, I'll put it to you. Or if you know, create a small video explaining a small concept that we'll put any uh, activity, any competition that's coming up, the first information will be there in the WhatsApp channel only. So join this WhatsApp, ch WhatsApp channel. And the next link is very important that this link is for the games. We have designed applications, games for you so that you can learn uh, words and meanings. You will learn 600 words. 
till for national level you'll be having 600 words meanings it's very difficult to learn from the book no but you can learn in a game we call this game called trekman it's available in android phone apple phones and even your website these are the links that trekman you can play anywhere your progress will be updated in all places if you have android phone use that apple phone or any or laptop use these things we also have another game called phonetics quiz your round nine no phonetics i'm not sure round nine or round seven okay phonetics but oh my god this app i have to tell you it's only in android but if you can download this app you can actually listen to the audio of these words you'll see a word if you can click and you can actually listen to the audio so listen how that word is pronounced and then give answer this is your phonetic quiz it's only in uh, android Download this and try answering and you know try. It's like it should be like a quiz. Try listening to the sounds and then answering the questions. Um, your next link is what uh, the ma'am was talking to you about in the beginning of the session. Human security for all. This is the fluency program for Spelby International. And uh, a lot of you said uh, said you're interested in participating in HS4A. This is the link. We will be inviting in the first phase only those who have filled this form. Fill the form. Tell us how would you like to participate. Whether you would like to draw something, whether you would like to you know make a speech, make a pledge, make a video. However you want to participate, you can participate. And the best of the participations will be showcased showcased in the international websites, such as for a website, in our website, in social media, in their magazines, newsletters. You know this is a very beautiful way for you to participate in a global campaign so uh, click on the link that's here on the screen right now and tell us how you'd like to participate and we'll be getting those responses now so the first uh, approach will be for those who have filled the forms only so uh, use this form so uh, is there any other link sir great place ma'am great place what's the thing Community. Okay. Yeah. You have great voice WhatsApp community where uh, great specific things. For example, this is a great specific boot camp. No, this will be putting in your community. Your great voice, like only for first graders, you want to say something, we'll be saying in that. So this is your uh, link for great voice community. Great one community. Yes. Anything else? Sir? Is there any other link, sir? No, no, no. Yes. Okay. These are the links. Do try to copy and paste somewhere on Notepad. So uh, as the session will end in exactly one minute. Thank you for being here. And this is the end of your L3 bootcamp. Yeah, I'm very sure I'll be seeing you all for L4 bootcamp too. Let's finish this Pelvi International journey for this year. And service query form and uh, content query form. Service query form and content query. Ah, uh, yes. No. Too many. Okay. Uh, the, a lot of you in the beginning of the session have been telling I didn't receive my books. I don't know when is my exam. I don't know. Uh, I haven't received certificates or medals for the PDF levels. All these queries, uh, you can put it in the form that's going to come now. Ah, yes, this is your service query form. Any uh, query that regarding to, your, to our service, no? we should have given you a certificate, given you the books or not. If you haven't received anything, you can fill in this form and we'll be forwarding it to your concerned coordinator and they'll be addressing this in the next 48 hours. That is the promise that we give. If you have any query regarding the book certificates or not, put it in the service query form. If you have another kind of doubt, why is this the correct answer? I think this one may be the correct answer. Why is this the wrong answer? Can you explain this to me? I have a doubt in this particular concept. All these doubts, you can give it to content query form. That is here. CQF. Any uh, doubt regarding the content, put it in the form and our content department will be contacting you and you know resolving your query. Yes, with that, we have come to the end of this session and uh, all the best for your level three exam. Happy New Year. All the best for your next year. All right. Yes. With that, we will end the session, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Thank you. We'll end the session in three, two, and one.